Hi, I'm Tina Jesse, founder of Sewing Tink. Welcome to today's helpful sewing tips. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a button back onto a suit jacket and make it nice and secure. You're only going to need a few supplies to do this, so it's pretty easy. First of all, you'll need a sewing needle. Make sure that the eye is just a little bit larger so you can get the two threads in that we're going to be working with today. Then you'll need a pair of sewing scissors. Of course, the button that you're going to sew back on and dressmaker's chalk marker that's washable. I'm going to use white today. And then thread. I'm going to use green today for sewing teaching purposes so that you can see better, but make sure that it's the color that your um, jacket is, okay? Okay, so here's what we want our button to look like after we've sewn it back on. If you can see, there's a little bit of space in between the jacket and the button, and that's what we want to have happen. It provides the needed room for you to move around when you have your jacket on. Take a look at your existing button on your jacket. The button on my jacket has is following the line form, so that's what we're going to do today on this button. But your jacket may have the X with the thread, and so you want to match it up so that it looks the same. Okay, I have my jacket marked. I use my dress marking pencil to mark the holes where the button will go back on. So I'm going to take my needle and thread now, and I'm going to pierce the fabric and go down through the middle of those holes onto the back side of the jacket like that. That will put the knot on the top of the jacket. It will be under the button and so you won't see it and it will hide that and that way it will be flat in the back of your jacket. Okay, so now what we're going to do from the back of the jacket, go ahead and pierce the fabric and come up through that first hole right there. Okay, this is the pattern we're going to follow. So bring that up. Make sure to pull in the thread so it's nice and flat in the back of your jacket. We're going to get our button and go down through that hole and then from the back of the jacket come up through that hole and back down through that hole. So we're forming that bar. Okay, so let me get my button, put that on, and that's the pattern that we're going to follow. So up, down through the hole to the back of the jacket, forming that first bar. Back up through this hole over here. And back up through the hole in the button. And then back down through the existing hole, through that last chalk marking there. And that puts us as having gone through all four holes, and we've got that formation there that we were looking for. Okay? Okay, so at this point, you'll want to go ahead and pull that button just slightly here so that it's you've got that space that we were talking about creating so that we can form that thread shank. So see how I'm kind of pulling that away from the, the jacket? So we want to have that space there. Okay? Now, right now our needle is coming from the back of the jacket. You're going to come up, but we're not going to go through any holes this time. We're just going to stay in back, keep that needle in back of the button like that. Okay? I'm going to pull that up, flat, make sure it's flat in the back, and that way we are behind the button and we can now do that thread wrap. So you're going to want to wrap your thread around the back of the button a good 12-15 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's given us a pretty good thread shank right there. Okay, so still okay. working from behind the button on the top of the jacket, we're going to put our thread in a kind of a circular form there. We're going to grab a little bit of fabric with a needle not a lot, just a little, and come up through that circle and tie a knot. Do the same thing all over again. Form a circle, grab a little bit of fabric and or thread, it doesn't matter if you pull a little bit of thread with it, and come up through the inside of that circle and pull that another knot. Okay, so now going underneath the button, still on the top of the jacket there, we're going to go underneath like this over to the other side of the button. We're going to repeat the same thing that we did on that side. We're going to tie some knots. Okay, so we're going to make the circular thread loop, grab some fabric and or a little thread, and pull that through and make a knot. And then do the same thing. Make a circle, grab a little fabric, bring that thread needle up. So now at this point, knot. what you want to do is pierce the fabric of the jacket right close to where the thread shank is, and then just go through to the back of the jacket and pull that through nice and snug and making sure that the thread, sometimes it bunches up on you and you just have to 
look at it and pull it through, okay? Make sure it's flat and even. And then once you're back to the back of the jacket, you are done. You have finished sewing your button back on. We're going to clip this thread right here. There's no need to tie any more knots. It'll be nice and flat back there. And your button is now all sewn back on and you are good to go. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video and then subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends. Also, if you'd like to check out what I make personally for my business, please go to SewingTink.com and I will list it in the information below. Thanks again. Bye.